Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a loose watercolor bunny. So let's do it! Okay guys, so I'm just going to go over my materials really quickly. I have my Arches watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton cotton and watercolors. I have my Princeton snap brush, a size 10 and a size two and my water and my paper towel. Okay, so we're doing a very loose bunny. So I'm just gonna show you quickly. I'm just gonna mix some brown and gray together. <clears throat> so you don't have to use too much detail for this. So just be very loose with it. Don't worry about making mistakes. And you're just gonna make a curve at the top for the head. And you're gonna make big ears. Um, they're gonna be smaller or thinner as they get to the bottom. So thin and then wider out. And you're just gonna thicken up that line. Okay. Then you're going to bring this down from the inner ear down the middle just a bit to where the top of the nose is going to be okay and you're going to make two curves out like that and then two bigger curves around fill that in There you go. And then you're just gonna create some shoulders for this bunny. You can leave some white in the middle, white space. I'm not gonna use white paint for this. I'm just gonna use some white space. Um, I'm not even gonna really draw paws like the bunny's feet. Um, I'm gonna kind of make almost like frog legs. So just another two curves out to the side, maybe a bit of a round bottom. Just like that, very loose, does not have to be perfect. And I'm just gonna make sure all the areas are wet, are wet. And because then I'm gonna go back in with more color. So maybe just tap it in at places. Doesn't really matter where. Make sure that first layer is wet before you do this. If you wanna draw the paws, you totally can. It's totally up to you. Add some black in there, brown, whatever you want. Actually, I'm gonna put a bit of pink there so I don't want it too dark. very casual like that I'm even gonna take a little bit of my pink just tap it in right here let it bleed there a little bit a little bit over here in the ears. If it bleeds into the ears, that's cool too. Very loose bunny. Okay. And then you are going to take your brush and you're going to just do some grass around it. You can have it touching the bunny a bit, bleed into the bunny if you want. Very, very loose. You can switch up your greens, try different shades. Like 
gonna take my clean brush, just water, and I'm just gonna run it across. Take some of that color from the grass. Just bring it down. Like so. You can even tap some darker colors, lighter colors in there, however you want it. Like that. And then once the face is dry, um, we're gonna add the eyes. So I'm just gonna make sure mine's dry because if I add the black eyes right now and this part is still wet, the black will bleed into the fur of the bunny and I don't really want that to happen. So I'm just gonna make sure mine's dry first by using my heat tool. You can just wait for yours to dry. If you don't have a heat tool, that's totally fine. it's dry there we go and then I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna start by creating the eyes so I'm gonna do a line at the bottom and I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna click out some eyelashes there bring up another curve and just leave some white space for the eyes line down below curve up Look out some eyelashes. Like that. I'm gonna do a little V under the pink there for the nose. A line down and then a little smile. Like that. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna do some really thin whiskers and a couple dots like that and there you go there is your very loose but cute Easter Bunny now you can add some words like hoppy Easter or whatever you want cut it out slap it on a card and there you go you have a really cute bunny Easter card Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more.